the city is overrun with a miasma of massive, oppressive tendrils emanating from the ground beneath our feet, spawning creatures from what feels like heaven. Gotta find her. Fight for your life, Spider-Man. Make Mysterio's getting on my nerves! I wonder if this is how Beck acted back in the day. Skepticism will save you. Okay, mystery person. I'll keep that in mind. You can't save anyone! You can't save yourself!
Oliver? Oh my god, thank you. You'll be safe now. Another call from Betsy. Spider-Man? Cole and I are a bit concerned. He said he was gonna kill us. Please, Cole, don't panic. <sighs> Spider-Man, we found out Quentin lied to us. Instead of going to counseling, he went somewhere else. When we confronted him, he said some threatening things and then left. Hopefully he just needs to cool off, but if you see him or hear from him, can you let us know? Thank you. Uh, this just went from bad to worse. new voicemail. Spider-Man, we need to meet. Come to Coney Island. I have an urgent matter to discuss with you. Well, that doesn't sound like a trap at all. Just hope he hasn't hurt Betsy and Cole. <laughs> I should check out that crystal. Did I just step on one of you? My bad. You guys had enough yet? Sand Marcos are exhausting. They say their boss is coming soon and that he wants to meet me. I'm not waiting around. Sorry to break our promise, Kimi, but I'll tear this city apart to find you. Marco thought Craven's people hurt his kid. No wonder he went nuclear. Marco never got the chance to find her. I gotta make sure she's safe. Maybe there's another crystal over by where Marco's memory shattered in the first place. another crystal but where are my sandy friends
those giant spikes? Are they protecting the crystal? It's working! Just need to keep it up! I don't think he wants us in here! calling you. My source of the raft told me Marco keeps repeating some address in Queens. Sending it to you now. You should check it out. Her mom's. Maybe that's where Kimia is. Thanks, MJ. Any chance you can get a line to Marco at the raft? Hang on while I look into it. Okay, all set. Patching him through now. Spider-Man. Sorry for my... Well, the mess. Thank you. You helped me get my mind right. I'm sorry you got roped into all this. Think your daughter might have made it to her mom's. Head in there now. If she's there, do me a favor. Give her those crystals. Something to remember me by. You got it. Hope you get that normal life you wanted soon, Flynn. She's okay. Wish I could do more, though. Maybe Pete's lawyer friends could help bring this family together again.
hear this podcast and you're still on the island of Manhattan, shelter in place. Seal the windows, bolt the doors, do not leave your homes. First responders are organizing emergency medical and focused evac. Feast is delivering food and survival supplies. Check my socials for up to the minute. Sound off in the comments with any reports of folks in need of aid. Listen, I know you're scared. I'm scared too. Okay, where's Beck? Welcome, Spider-Man. If you're looking for Betsy and Cole, they are no longer with us. You killed them? Don't act surprised. You've known from the beginning who you're dealing with. What the? to defeat him. Wait. If you're here, Mysterio's out there. How is that happening? Oh! <laughs> Enough of this! 
I'll end you myself! You actually think you can defeat me? This is insulting! Everything that has happened is because I wanted it to happen! Now you're just making excuses! I control everything! I am a god! Your reality is what I deem it to be! Time to get out of here. The sim is down. Get it back. I'm trying. It was Quentin. He made us do this. Where is he? questions. This... Did you clear things up? So can I tell everyone Mysterio's a good guy now? <laughs> I 
Mysterio will always be a villain. Just as Spider-Man will always be a hero. It's when you start looking at the people behind the masks that things get messy. must be asking, when did this turn into a science fiction podcast? I'll tell you, when fiction became reality. As a boy, I would read stories of beings from other worlds who wreaked great terror upon our... and righteous heroes who wouldn't back down no matter the odds. The morals were clear and simple, window dressed in outrageous circumstances to escape our humdrum reality. <laughs> but I wouldn't give for our boring lives to return now. I look out the window and I see a city in... unrecognizably foreign fashion.
Now, let's see who this Roid Rage City Pigeon was after. Why was Craven hunting an engineer? This drone won't be bothering her anymore. Gotta take out the rest. from the slipstream. If I don't catch it now...
Raven was hunting an influencer? What do you think? This kid had powers? Not exactly big game. Why all the trouble for some civilians? <laughs>